Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5 and this is my mask. Uh, I can't wear the mask right now because every time I put it on the uh, lighting gets thrown off and the screen turns black, or very dark at least. Uh, but this is a review of this mask and to tell you a little bit how masks work in my opinion. I'm by no means a scientist, but um, and the way that I think masks work contradict how this thing worked for me. Uh, it's not the same thing, but this is a, a Cryptek uh, Typhoon uh, mask. Uh, it has a, a filter on the inside that you can replace, and it's washable. And um, uh, this is called a courtesy mask. That's how Cryptek sells it. Cryptek courtesy mask. What does that mean? Well, that means you put this on. And then when you cough and sneeze, your particles don't disperse all over the place. Uh, I see a lot of memes that are like, um, you know, I bought this mask to protect me. And then it has another guy that says, well, I bought this chain link fence to protect me from mosquitoes. And to me, these memes are very stupid because they don't address how masks are supposed to work. Now, it's true if you buy a very cheap mask, it's probably not going to work as well as this $30 mask that I bought. And no, I did not intend to buy a $30 mask. That was after shipping and handling, after I got finished filling out all the information. I was like, you know what, I've already went this far with it, I might as well buy it. And I'm glad I did. And this one's too small for me, I need a bigger size. But that being said, um, the mask isn't necessarily to keep you from getting the disease, it's to prevent you from spreading the disease. Now, uh, the ma it's true, the mask will help prevent things from going into your nose and mouth. And along with a pair of sunglasses, it provides somewhat of a shield. But uh, that's not what the courtesy mask is for. The courtesy mask is to keep your germs in this little pocket and uh, not, not spread them as much. And you can do a kind of a test with this. If you can sneeze on command, you can sneeze stick your hand out here and sneeze and feel the wind and wetness hit your hand and know that the sneeze can go about 15 feet uh, in one direction or in a in a general direction and uh, then you can put your mask on and if you can sneeze on command you can feel the lack of air and stuff that hits your hand and wetness so the mask actually does its job but let me tell you something that it did that I didn't expect it to do uh, I was at work and I was moving an uh, upside down trash can lid. It's one of them dome trash can lids that has the um, hinge door on it. And it was kind of heavy. I was like, well, I'm not going to carry this all the way to the dumpster. So, and it was full of trash. It, uh, some people just started throwing trash in it and it got full of trash. So I picked it up, put it in the back of the side by side, started driving to the dumpster. And I start, started smelling the smell. The smell was the smell of death or something really bad, I don't know what it is, but decomposing just awful smell. And I um, got to the dumpster and I tried to dump the lid out, because this is a brand new lid, it just had like old trash in it. And I about lost it. I, um, uh, what you call it, I um, uh, dropped the uh, lid into the dumpster, stalled gagging, and about to throw up. Luckily I didn't throw up. I was like, well, I can't just leave this brand new trash can lid in the dumpster. So I went to my vehicle, got my mask, put it on, walked up to the dumpster, fished the um, uh, trash can lid out of the dumpster and continued to dump it out. And you know what? This brought the smell next to zero. Uh, keep in mind, this doesn't fit perfectly. So there's a little bit of air circulating on the tops of your nose, you know, right here. But it brought the smell almost to zero. Like, as close as to zero you can get and still be like, okay, there's clearly something somewhere that smells something weird. I mean, it brought the scent close to zero. So, in my opinion, again, this isn't scientific or anything, the mask does its job to prevent you from spreading uh, bacteria, but if it's fine enough of a material or of a filter to prevent this liquid death from coming into your nose. I mean, when I was uh, driving with this trash can lid, there was liquid pouring out of it, um, which was probably a big source of that smell. But um, like I said, I had this on 
and uh, I did not smell the smell. I mean, there was an instant where I was like, okay, something's a little bit off, but this prevented the smell from going in my nose. So we know that it's um, a fine enough material to prevent, I don't know what to call it, a vapors, um, uh, aerial bacteria from entering your nose where you can smell it. It also prevents you from spreading that uh, bacteria if you cough and sneeze. So in my opinion, the mask work. Uh, the whole meme that says um, this uh, chain fence is going to protect me from mosquitoes is complete garbage. It's completely asinine uh, if you buy a proper mask. Like I said, this one's $30. Not only do you have the front shell material and the back material, but you also have a removable filter. Um, which I need to wash mine, um, but um, it has more than one pocket, so I can't really get it out that easily. There it is. There was the filter, um, but um, it worked, and um, I would recommend if you're going to be in grocery stores or whatever uh, heavily trafficked areas to wear a mask. I would definitely recommend it because I experienced the effectiveness of the stuff. Now I wasn't, um, uh, I wasn't guaranteed to be within uh, uh, contact with someone with COVID, but it did block the smell and it does prevent you from sneezing and coughing stuff all over the place. So in my opinion, the mask worked. I would recommend it. No, I don't like wearing the mask, um, but to me it's not useless. So that's it. I'm a Satsu 5 and I'm out.